Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play Monster Sanctuary for the Xbox. Now, we're gonna be doing an. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do this. We're gonna do a randomizer and do a new game on this one. And we're gonna be the blue person, and we're gonna name herself NS. I'll turn down the volume in a bit. We can't change the options yet. The Monster Sanctuary is a land far from any other human civilization. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Most of the people in Monster Sanctuary reside in the Keeper's Stronghold. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. I think we'll go with, let's see, Eagle's the most offensive, Spectral Lion seems the most balanced, Toad is the tankiest, and Wolf seems to be kind of balanced again, so we'll go with the Wolf. Among the most prestigious monster keepers, there are four prominent old bloodlines tied to Monster Sanctuary's history. Each of those bloodlines is aided by a spectral familiar. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. NS is just starting out to become a monster keeper, like her ancestors before her. As with all starting monster keepers, her journey begins on the keeper's trail. Her bloodline's familiar bears the form of the spectral wolf. Name your familiar... Wolfie. Are wild things? Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh my god, a monster, it's a goblin. Okay, now... Uh, let's turn this down to... Like that, maybe? Okay, right, so you can jump with the A button, and then obviously start brings up this, and then you have like an inventory and stuff, but we have to battle monsters, so it's kind of like Pokemon. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn down the volume again. This is still loud. Like, holy cow. So yeah, then you'll see if it's like super effective or not. If there's an up arrow above the monster's head, that means it's super effective. So we use Ice Hail, because it does the most. And then we'll keep doing it over and over. And then we'll just finish it off. And we got three stars and got an egg for that creature. And there you go. It says we got a blob egg, but since we're playing random, we know what we have to do. So I gotta go back down and... Can I change that even more? No, okay. Difficulty normal... I, I always have it on normal. I actually got all the achievements in this game before, too. But we were going to drop this down to like 10%, man. Because holy cow, is that loud. Oh yeah, and so attach an egg, you open up your inventory, go to the eggs. And we got a goblin pilot. And then we can name him, so we're going to call him... Uh, Nasty... Uh, Nasty Ganork, right? 
I think Nasty Norik is a... Oops. Is a very fitting name for a goblin. See, so yeah, you can have up to three in battle with you at one time, too. Oh, it looks like we've got two goblins. And then to level up your creatures, you do need to do battles. So let's see what we can do here. Um, Lightning Slash is super effective. And then Ice Sail is super effective. Oh god. Oh god, my poor creature. Stop killing him. You vile fiends. And then the more attacks you do in a row, too, you'll get more combo points. Which means that you'll technically do better. And we only got three stars. And we unlocked a hammer. That's a pretty good equip item. Based on the effectiveness, yeah, we're not going to get a lot of that. Also, if you press the X button, certain creatures will have certain abilities. So... Um, where is it? Well, there's skills, but like, how do I... Oh, it's it's uh, R1. You can do this, and then see, he also has a slash ability too. So each one will have different abilities. Oh, and these are very rare, powerful creatures right here. Vertrag is a really, really strong, annoying creature to deal with. And we got him down already. And that guy just inflicted us with a burn, and that was it. Which is interesting. Alright, we should be able to beat this this turn, right? Hopefully we get one of their eggs. Because these guys would be really, really, really cool to have. And we got four. Oh yeah, and we got Vertrag. Nice. So let's open up the Vertrag. That guy's pretty cool. And we're going to name him Psyballs, because that's what he has. He's got psychic balls, so... Technically, I believe he's one of the final bosses of the game if you were to play off of the randomizer, but randomizer's just fun. It's a really, really silly, fun way to play this game. And we can open this, and we got Assessus, which is an item that you can equip to your monsters to make them 1 billion percent stronger. And Makunai, same thing. Uh, you can't get there unless you have the flying ability or the double jump, which sadly we have neither of them right now. For these breakable walls, you use a, car or a creature that has the slash ability. Also, I'm pretty sure Vertrag has, yeah, the ability to levitate big boulders, which won't help us right now. We do need it, and ooh, we got a mushroom guy, which is actually introduced in the free DLC to this game. But now we have three enemies at once, which is kind of cool. Solar Rays. That guy just straight up died. Didn't even get to do anything. It's actually kind of a weak creature, though, honestly. It's not really the best. Ice. That just both my guys sent ice. That's pretty cool. And we got a five star and a fungi egg. So that allows us to get a new creature known as Fungi. Which is the baby form of the, the, the fungal mancer. So we're gonna call this one Mario because it's a red mushroom. Hello Mario. Let's go. And they're they hatch to whatever level your current team is, so. Oh, I made that. Nice. Bracelet. Right on, buddy. Right on. And we got Gauntlet. Wait, did I randomize the... I don't know if I randomized the items. Uh, this leads us to Stronghold Keeper's Trail. We need to go to the left, obviously, because that's our mission, but still. To copper. Copper is used to upgrade your items to make your monster stronger, which will be needed. Oh, we got a bunch of these... What are these guys called again? Fumagis. Okay, so they have a shield of some kind, which is cool. Um, let's just air sickle. Oh, a shield, okay. Ow, and acid. Oh, they poisoned me. That's no fun, man. No bueno. Dude. Ice. Is he gonna shield again? No, he's gonna attack my wolf. My poor wolf here is about to die, though, that's for sure. We'll do that, just that way that shield gets broken off. Yeah, we lost our wolf, which sucks. Oh, he's got the shield back again. 
And you do have mana in this game, which is annoying, so depending on which abilities you use, you'll have to go into regular attack or use items. That way you just regenerate it, but there we go. Annoying, but whatever. There we go, and our Spectral Wolf leveled up. We'll put our points into them soon enough. Oh yeah, the mushroom just places like little obstacles, like a little literal mushroom. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a Thanatos. Yeah, well, Lightning Slash you, Ice Hail you, and I guess Claws you. Whatever that ability did. Um, we don't really have anything for him, so... Aha! There, both Virtrex are dead. You don't do anything, so you're not really that useful. And then you can just Ice Hail him. We get some kind of evasion up, because we missed. Huh. And there we go. Defeated. Aw, oh, sadly we didn't get a Thanatos egg. That that would be pretty cool. Uh, we got we got an orb and a morning star. And oh, we got more goblins. Okay. So, a well, lightning slash. Uh, icy, icy, slashy, slashy. Oh, ooh, this guy's gotta go. He hits so hard, man. It's not even funny. There we go. Oh, he might die soon. That's not good. At least we can apply bleed. Oh no, Vertrek died. That's so mean, man. I don't appreciate that very much. Now give me your egg. Ah, you didn't give me your egg. So let's put some skill points into these guys. So, you've been using a lot of Lightning Slash, so we'll do Lightning Slash level 2. Which means that we can put one more in. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn. Or we have Goblin Science. Every Goblin search... Mm, that's not super useful, so we'll go with this one. As for you, we use your hail a lot, so we'll do that, and we got some increased health, which seems useful. As for you, we use the hail a lot, and we have a chance to apply chill. That sounds good. The mushroom, we're not using it, and probably won't be using it, so that's why we're not uh, putting skill points in him yet. Oh, no, that's where we're supposed to go, so... Oh, poop. Missed that. We need the key. Also, I think you work for this, right? Yeah. Red gem, 150 gold. Those crystals there allow you to teleport from place to place. So once we unlock more zones, then we'll be able to teleport. And we got more Thanatos. All right, here's to hoping that we can unlock one finally. Oh yeah, that does more damage now. Not much, but still some. We got the chill, which didn't really do anything, but sure. Ow, the burn. Actually, it's not even burn, it's bleed. Yeah, you can take him on. Man, this does so little damage, even though we've upgraded. Fire in the hole. Oh, we can't do anything, so we'll have to attack, which are resistant to neutral attacks like that. <sighs> Ooh. Why does that hurt so bad? Can we get the crit? No, goblin. At least we win. Hey, we got a Thanatos egg. So now what we can do is we can open up the Thanatos egg. He doesn't evolve, sadly. So Thanatos will call you... Death after the Marvel character death. And how will we use you? Actually, I don't know if I want to use you. You're not that good. Like you may think, oh, it's a, it's a good one, but it really isn't that good, honestly. It's kind of a mediocre one. It's not a great creature, so we do need the key. So I'll probably do the Keeper's Trail in this, and then end the episode. I'm, a, I'm thinking that's where we'll end it. Oh, we got these guys. These guys are, um, pol polter Ofen. Polter Ofen. Pardon me. And uh, they're pretty, pretty good creatures to have on your team. Like, they really, really are. 
Oh, I got the double burn. Oh, and they broke our armor, so now they're going to be doing a lot more damage, which is dirty. Wait, how did it survive? I'm so confused, game. You're mean. Oh, he might actually die due to the burn. That's actually pretty good. Oh, no, the shield. That's what makes him strong. Oh, this guy's finished off, and this guy should be finished off now. Hopefully we get an egg for them, too. Oh, we do! That's actually pretty good. We got a polter oven. Righty yo. So, what are we gonna name you? We're gonna name you... Uh, Boiler Room. Why can't I press X to go back? The fact that you have to physically type it is annoying. Your name's Boiler Room, and we want this item that you're packing. A walnut, because... Oh yeah, food is another thing. Food also increased stats, and you can switch out what ones you want. That you need a DLC character to get into. Which, sadly, we can't do that yet, so that's a thing, I guess. Um, we just gotta kinda just gun it, I guess. Yeah, and you can get duplicate eggs, too, so... It, that's just a thing that happens in this game, so if you need a specific one, you can grind them out, I guess. Uh, just kill him. Huh. Oh, that crit almost beat it for us. Oh, default attack is actually super effective. Nice. We got an hourglass, which is his item that you can equip to him to increase his stats by a lot. Like, you can equip it to other creatures too, but certain items are just really good on specific dudes. Because it was made for them, or it drops off of them specifically. Well, you're gone, and you'll be gone soon enough. Oh, they hurt so much. I really wish I had, like, multi-hit moves, or, like, not multi-hit moves, multi-target moves that would hit multiple creatures at once, because, let's be real, these guys can be a pain. Steel and an emerald. Totally worth it, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. We got three smoke bombs. Now, I'm pretty sure if you go over here, it's a dead end, right? I think? Are there creatures on this bridge? Let's go for a run. Ooh. The rare creature known as Spinners. Those guys are pretty intimidating, too. That's for sure. Let's get rid of the healer, though, in the middle. Because that's what they do. Is they do a lot of healing and poisoning. Apparently, this guy also poisons. Which is not fun. I don't have anything to technically kill you, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, we'll do this, I guess. Then we'll beam you and slash you. Ouch. Huh. There we go. We defeated the rare spinner and got nothing from it. No egg, no anything. Just, just some cookies. What do we got over here? We got a tome and two X potions. Okay. Man, the hardest part about this game, though, was exploring everything to get 100%. Like, the game itself is, like, really fun. It even has online battles. But on Xbox, you really can't find anybody to battle, which is the sad part. Despite this game actually having a pretty good fan following. A shell and a ribbon. Oh, we got another spinner. Why is he, like, hunched over like that? That's freaky. Alright, let's just kill him off, I guess. And done. Yeah, the spinner's gotta go first, because he's just annoying. They just hit so hard with that poison bomb attack, it's ridiculous. Ugh. These enemies are starting to get weaker, though, because they're lower level than us now. Ooh, we got the spinner egg! Probably won't use the spinner because I'm not a big fan of it, but we got it. Um, we're gonna call it Hente, because, you know, why not? That's exactly what it is. Anyways, let's put our skill points into our creatures. 
Um, we could go with... We're going to make him a physical attacker. So we're going to go with Claws. Level 2. And then we can go with a buff or... Ooh. No, heal for damage done to enemies. As for you, you can continue to be special. Because this is... Yeah, magical, magical. So go with this. And then we'll also go with our magic rating, which will be useful. And then you'll be, once again, physical. We'll get fiery shots level 2. And what's this? 12 charge sex. It's not really useful right now. Um, while wearing no equipment, that increases crit. That's actually useful right now because we don't have any equipment on him at all. Anyways, in the next episode, we will be doing the challenge here, which is going to be really, really difficult because it's randomized. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys all next time for another episode of Monster Sanctuary.